Hey folks, Quilly King here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 3! A few days have passed since the end of the last episode because I was letting a few changes tick through in our economic system. One of the things I did, for a long time I was quite eager to get as many businesses as possible on publicly traded with the idea of getting more capitalists so that we'd get more private investment. Um, and I think that was a good thing for a while. But I've gone through and set everyone to privately owned instead, which despite the fact that it says here the substitution would increase the money, mostly switching to privately owned increased the profitability of most places. And more importantly, decreased the amount of capitalists needed to run a lot of these buildings, which I think helped a lot with the qualification uh, matches up for these things. So overall, I think productivity has shot up a lot. Certainly our, um, our income's going okay. I also forced a few more mode changes to electricity and oil centric stuff which we do currently have an oil shortage. And a few of these places actually are complaining about electricity again. There's a couple of new ones. So um, I think all of these now are, okay, no, yours need to be subsidized. Ghana, I think already is. Again, we'll let some of this tick through. Uh, Kanzembe and Kataga. There we go. I think Katanga is already on the sub list. And it might be nice to have a different way of looking through these. But there we go. Um, we are using more oil than we were before, but hopefully that's generally okay. We don't have an oil shortage, just a high oil price, which I'm hoping actually translates to a decent amount of hiring going on here in Nejd. It is trying to hire, but it's having a little bit of competition along the way. Yeah, competing with other buildings. Although it, it looks like it's scooching up ever so slightly. So that's good. Russia sides with Prussia. I mean, their names are basically the same, so that kind of makes sense. We're not currently constructing anything, which I still think is fine. Yeah, okay. Economy goes burr. Um, I was looking. We do have some high prices. I was. I tried to do some trade between episodes as well. Um, tanks, very high price. Oil, high price. Art, very high price. We can actually potentially consider building more art industries, which don't or art institutes which i don't think even hire that many people and would be another source of profitability um i mean economically like if i drop taxes would that be helpful i'm not convinced i'm not convinced that it would make a difference i think we'll leave things be we know we're going to be starting a war soon and that is going to hit our economy so we'll do that i really do wish we could import some tanks but that simply does not exist and overall, our war machines industries here are just having hiring issues. You know, it doesn't have the funds. It's like kickstart it. I guess we could bring the price of steel down. Well, as I say that, it's sort of fluctuating down a little bit. The big thing is oil is expensive and planes are not. I don't know what to do about like these planes are they simply not being consumed right now we did set aerial reconnaissance on all of our military is it not actually being used actually ooh. yeah we're gonna turn on some chemical weapons too we're gonna do all the nasty stuff Uh, let me double check Mauritania that you are being subsidized and you are. We know Niger and Katanga are, although things are mostly okay power wise, which is good to see. Nesh, I think when we left you off, you had 16.3K in the oil rigs, 16.6K. So you're hiring a little bit more. But yeah, still kind of an issue. Oh, some warfare going on here. Do we just, do we just YOLO for the oil thing at this point? Do we try the naval invasion of Persia? I mean, maybe. Part of me really is like, oh, we are at zero infamy, so I do want to start something. Um, although, with the war machine shortage... Well, actually, sorry, we don't actually have a shortage of tanks. They're just expensive. Should I... Should I turn to interventionism? To subsidize our war industries? I look at the military. Do you have a debuff from incompleteness? No, it's, you have the, the equipment. It's just pricey. Oh, are there more upgrades to be done? No, okay. I didn't know with the tanks, but I guess we already did it. We did the mechanized industry switch over. Is there really no oil over here? If I go and sort for oil, 
right? Potential. Now, again, this doesn't reveal, as far as I know, hidden stuff. Maybe we should just war France. I'm surprised there's nothing over here. Is this not where the oil is in, in real life? Is it is it over here more? But yeah, tons with Persia. I just don't like that we don't have a proper land connection. Because I don't know if we have a big enough navy to guarantee a naval landing here. Now, I mean, there's stuff over here. There's, you know, Mexico. Again, we'd have to do a naval invasion. I don't feel like we've got the navy support for that. I'll probably just punch the Netherlands again because it's funny. Did we finish integrating Friesland? We did. For good or for ill, you still have tons of turmoil here. Oof. We got the violent suppression still running to try to reduce the effect of it. Uh, we can probably cancel your road maintenance. All rigs are maxed out and fully working. Now, you might be something in center. I see you'd lose some money, hire some more capitalists we don't have. I mean, this place is super duper profitable. I didn't have an option to build a... Where's the companies? Like an oil company, did I? I don't already have one. Then we go ba 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 ba. Well, oh no, the rest of this, but right, all it. This isn't going to produce more oil, it's just going to give us migration, which could be useful, but yeah, I guess I decided against it because I did the Congo thing because we are evil. More power plant throughput is interesting. So yeah, here, and it is hurting a lot of the other businesses, but again, I'm hoping, oh, those businesses are unproductive, therefore this. Maybe, if it doesn't break the railroad, if I, oh, let me move you to diesel, which is going to consume, oh, and then all of a sudden the price of electricity just evaporates here. But I guess that's the thing to do. I forgot I have those buttons to pull as well. Mauritania, uh, diesel trains, Katanga. I'm wondering if I can lift my subsidies. Well, let's try it. And then if they still have an electricity shortage afterwards, we'll just go and do it again. But for now, I will lift the subsidies of the power plants. Because in theory, yeah, the, the price of electricity drops. So we don't need this many people. We still need some, but hopefully it's it'll have, you know, a sliver of it. Or, you know, do I need to go through some of these places and make sure they're... Automate. I mean, they are. Uh, I actually do want to do this. That'd be hugely profitable for you. Cars are expensive, my dudes. Oh, you don't have any employees in here, so switching that mode is basically going to do nothing. I mean, it's not complaining the cars are expensive in the market. Low market access. Oh, it's because we're flickering on the uh, convoys. Okay, fine. Well, actually, I don't even know if the ports are fully um, employed. Can we subsidize ports? No, there's no option for that. We'll just buy job seekers, build a crap ton more ports. You know what? I'm building five more everywhere that can support it. Let's say I'm expecting our income to go down. It's still not negative though, despite being on full construction mode. And let's hope this works. Out of my trade routes, which ones use the most convoys? Coal input, which is pretty important. Are we importing groceries? Um, okay, that's, I want to know, there it is. We're actually, I mean, we'll, we'll run a slight deficit if we do this. But this is me trading with France. Why were you using convoys for that? I mean, the revenue on those routes were still pretty good, which is probably why they're using so many convoys, because this kept leveling it up. But I think we can cancel the grocery route for now just to help stabilize this a little bit. Still build all these. Maybe we'll go and reset the trade route afterwards. Who knows? Tanks. Yeah, this is really not changing. 
Maybe I'll finish the construction queue. And then we'll start the war. Because I still want to. Only got a few more years before the game ends. Although we've got time. So Belgian Congo has a shortage. How's your railroad? Yep, we'll switch you to diesel trains. There we go. And fix that. Okay. I mean, oil is still ex expensive, but at least we don't have, currently have a shortage of it. Is there a tech we can get that's just a big oil multiplier? It will go convoys. I'd love to see like a couple of thousand spare convoys. If that would be possible, which we're maybe moving towards it. Of course, this is just increasing our oil consumption. But again, like, what am I going to do about it? No one's got any oil to spare. Now, I'm still in the 1.5 patch, of course. Maybe some of the balance has changed in 1.6. Maybe there's more tools. And 1.7 is maybe being teased. Oh, we made it to the South Pole. Now we got to get out. Okay. Um, I will definitely try to be... I mean, assuming I'm playing a militaristic kind of vibe, I will probably try to be a little bit more aggressive to take some Middle East stuff. How come the deficit here is growing so quickly? South Cameroon. Go oh, more of those. I mean, oil prices stay high, but so be it. Battleships. I mean, we could try to fold a few battleships into our navy, but again, we're not really doing much that's navy-centric here. At some point, we're going to run into an actual oil shortage. But, you know, may maybe keeping the oil prices higher is going to help here. You are hiring a few more people. I mean, your local oil price isn't quite as high, um, which makes sense. But, And we've still got more room for oil rigs here. It's just a question of workforce. lose money and again I don't even know if I want these things to be profitable because I may not want them to hire more people which is kind of insane but it's kind of where we are this might be a good place for like the oil fired power plant though and you still have an electricity shortage we just changed this mode you're still short All right, we'll subsidize you. You got a lot of population here. We want these industries to function, presumably. Tanks still short. Uh, the, okay, the shortage has gone down a little bit. Um, wow, Russian military revolt. Look at that. Okay, Did we just pull the trigger on warfare. Well, I kind of wanted our economy to be fixed here. That is quite the deficit. Might be fine. I hate that this isn't giving us any oil, but I do like the idea that Belgium is going to go and conquer all of the Netherlands. What point do we try just going after France? Speaking of France, do we still have an alliance with you? At least cordial. I'm sorry, we not? Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe. We need to worry about our neighboring relations. Because if everyone hates me, wow, and they were some really hate me. British Republic, dudes. What the heck, man? Okay, so that was flash freezing, which are some new modes for the livestock ranches, fishing wharves, whaling stations. We could unlock oil turbines, but I don't think that really helps. The new construction sector mode. Maybe we'll look towards that. Oh, you must have had someone retire. Let's throw you in. So, um, it was fishing wharves and livestock ranches. Refrigerated rail car. Consume more transportation, which ooh, but it's gonna free up tons of workers, yep. And I'm gonna I'm gonna force that mode. And fishing wharves. Okay, yeah. More electricity. No, that's fine. Start it. We'll deal with the shortages. Let me run, run this a couple of ticks. Mauritania. I think we've already looked at you. Oh, no. We'll subsidize you now. Benin. There we 
you go. No complaints about transportation being expensive anywhere. Low market access in Nezh. Oh! Oh, well, yeah, okay. What are you short by here? That's not good. That's no, really not good for oil stuff. Um, you are short by seven infrastructure. Oops. I don't think I've got a mode. This one's not going to generate more infrastructure. Is it? Oh, it is. Well, shit, yeah. Go ahead and use the diesel trains. You're producing oil locally anyway. And fix your... Oh, you're still short by one. Nope, there it is. I might still want one extra railroad here. How's your transportation cost? It's on the low side. As long as you stay fully hired, you're going to be okay. All right. So that might help us get our oil out to the world, too. I think the local oil price went up because now it can sell it better, which should help it be more competitive when it comes to hiring. Oh, mm, the ports are taking some. Oh, yeah, no, this is losing employees um, left and right because of the freaking ports. Oh, my God. This is, should I have maybe not built any ports in Nezd? I mean, this is also giving it infrastructure, which I'm realizing now, I guess I didn't need to worry about building the railroad. Well, all it is is change modes. Okay, maybe, hold on. If I switch back here... It'll free up a little bit of oil. Or I'm saying, oh, I'm to lower the lower the the infrastructure. I guess that doesn't matter. Electricity stays high. How do I feel about that? And we might go and switch. Yeah, you can hire here, but then it's competition. Man, I don't know. Let's go beat up the Netherlands. Let's see what happens. Again, especially with everyone hating me right now. We might be in a bad place. I'm not running 1.6, so I don't get the better screen to like tell us who's likely to join what. Um, hold on. Massive deficit. Well, all right, let's just shoot up the taxes. Even then, we're running a deficit while constructing. That was far from ideal. Uh, oh, again, hold on. Diesel train. Let me cancel the subsidies here. Uh, that's Windward Coast the same way. Sine. Yeah, first thing we're going to do is just switch you to diesel trains. And then if there's still issues with power. Oh, you're already in diesel trains. I mean, I may have only done you fairly recently, but let's go ahead and start the subsidizing. Trade agreement with Russia. Sure. Like, if you want to ally with me right now, that wouldn't be the worst time. Right. Whoa. Okay, maybe now is not the time to start the war because we are being embargoed by the United States. We have no infamy right now. What's with the hate? Um, is there a quick way? There you go, sort by units. Maybe we shouldn't start a war right this second. What the hell's going on? Am I about to be declared on by some people? Okay, no construction, money's positive, we can burn off a little bit of debt, we can consider dropping the taxes afterwards. <laughs> Look at this straight vertical line for the GDP. Like, that's ridiculous. What, what is happening in the world? everyone hating on me, I suspect that Belgium or Netherlands might not be our target. Still wonder about starting some shit over here. Oh, film or arts institutes. Yeah, let's go and change them. If I can find them in the list, which I probably can't. Right, they're at the bottom. So never mind. That was actually fairly easy. No, oh, I'm going to force the mode change. Hmm. I guess, is there anywhere that the goods or the uh, service prices are expensive? Um, in my own territory. 
Oh, again, I forgot that this is... Well, no, I can do it this way. There we go. Produce more services. I said goods prices, but yeah, I meant services. Electricity need goes up. Is that actually going to lead to a shortage? I don't know. Maybe I don't want to do that right now. Can I filter out other people in my market? I guess not. Here again, very expensive. Here, just set all the modes for this one. I think it's still going to be quite pricey. I don't know. Maybe I should set everything. Uh, oh, the mountain. Uh, find a new route. Good. We got progress on this one. What do you want? Momentum added to the Communist Party. Um, whatever. Sure. I'm really scared. Why are people hating on me? Yeah, we in Austria are getting a little bit better. France. I mean, if France decided to declare on me, we'd be absolutely boned. Uh, I didn't change one building mode right over here. I haven't switched to mobile warfare tactics because it's going to consume more tanks and more oil. Oh, sorry. No, that's not true. What's the difference between these two? Is the goods consumption the same? 35, 10, 20, 10, 35, 20, 10, 15, 5, 5, 15, 5, 5. Oh, maybe the goods is the same. It's just the training rate that changed. Okay, no, we can do this. All right. I mean, it's going to increase our expenses, but that's okay. We'll have the better training rate. That's fine. An election. So we're still 100% here. The bourgeoisie and industrialists. I'm not thinking of making any big political changes at this time. There's no... There's nothing. All right. You know what? Screw it. We'll put a cut in here. Next episode, we'll start a war against the Netherlands. For funds! And that, that'll be a glorious ending to our run, I suspect, because I think with the way everyone is hating me, the Netherlands is going to get a lot of help. But that's okay. It'll be very enjoyable. And you know what? We got tanks. I mean, we got a deficit of tanks, but we have tanks. What if it goes into a massive shortage? I don't know how the consumption changes when you organize or not. Like, when you mobilize. I guess I could, like beat up some things over here and see how that goes. Actually, is... I haven't looked really close over here. Is there more oil to be gotten? British Congo, Portuguese Congo. Uh. That could be interesting too, although we don't actually border here really. So getting that war goal would be kind of annoying. I don't know, probably in the Netherlands. Folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.